What's up guys, Roan here, RoanZoneFitness.com and we're headed to the gym to do chest and triceps today but more importantly today marks the beginning of Ryan's transformation as I like to call it. Uh, we're putting him on a six week regimen. We're gonna do some before and, uh, well not before and after, before pictures today and uh, periodically we'll add in some pictures of uh, showcasing his progress but he's gonna be on a methyl stem balloon for six weeks. I really want to show everybody what our products can do for you whenever you're uh, really honed in on your diet and your training. So I'm going to really be focusing on Brian and helping him get uh, every last bit of, of uh, potential out of our products and out of himself. And that's Brian right there. <laughs> yeah, see, and we're headed to the gym right now. I haven't driven in a while, so this is kind of weird for me. I probably shouldn't be filming. but. I wanted to get this on video because uh, all we're gonna have time to do at the gym is just uh, get the training done. Look at this asshole, cut me off. But uh, we'll see. All right, we're in here doing chest. Keep in mind, we're going for hypertrophy, so we're doing high reps here. Moving on to flat dumbbell, uh, still going high reps. There's Brian repping him out. Just keep in mind, guys, the most important thing is to get that muscular contraction, feel the feel the muscle with blood. We're training for size, we're not going for strength. So, high reps, squeeze the muscle, feel the muscle all the way through. Right, Brian. Here we go. Doesn't look like much, but the work is hard. As long as the work is hard, muscle doesn't know how much weight you're lifting. It just knows that it's working really hard. This is my favorite one right here. It really gets the blood in the muscle. Come on. Go for the pump here. Here, we'll, we'll keep filming this one. This one's really exhausting. We'll go, we're doing a drop set here. Doing uh, four increments on the drop set. There you go, Brian. See, when you push like a regular press, you want to squeeze the pecs, fill them up with blood, promote growth. For upper chest, and find flies. If you're having trouble growing the upper chest, really try this one. Just squeeze at the top. Come on, come on, come on. Doing dips now. Best for your triceps, building mass, and hits those lower pecs too, so you don't have to do a decline press. I'll do four sets of these to fail you. you don't want to go too low. You don't want to hurt your shoulders. Just go 90 degrees. If you're doing it right, you can feel it. Lower chest. Oh. 
Good. Watch the elbow. Good. A little lower. Look at the triceps. This is just day. This is day one. I told Brian we'll have him wearing large, large t-shirts before we're done. That was good. Keep in mind, you guys that have, if you notice one arm getting bigger than the other, or if you have muscular imbalances like I do, my left arm bigger than my right, do your arm exercises single arm, one at a time. That'll help. It'll help focus on each arm. Make sure they're both doing the same amount of work. We're doing a drop set on it. Mr. Rowan, what type of power? Go left arm first, squeeze every time, squeeze every rep. <sighs> Doing drop sets on these alternating arms. Here's Brian's right arm. See, you, you can notice on Brian too, his left arm is a little bigger than the right. But we'll fix that. Which is weird because we're both right handed. Uh, but both have bigger triceps and biceps. I really think it's because you, when you start weight training, your right arm is used to a bunch of stimulus because you use it all the time, but your left arm, you know, you don't do a whole lot with it and you start working out, it really responds and grows faster. Squeeze that, squeeze it. There's no easy way to put on muscle. Even if you're on all kinds of steroids, ask any real bodybuilder. There's no shortcut. You still got to work out on a consistent basis and you still got to eat right every single day. Uh, there's nothing that's going to put muscle on you overnight. So that's a big misconception. And uh, no matter what, you know, it's hard work. Well, I should have done this in the beginning. So what do you think, Brian? It's motivation for me, man. I dedicate these workouts to The Rock, you know. He's a big Rock fan. Big Rock fan, guys. He big loves rock. The Rock. And Vin Diesel. Oh, and The Rock and uh, what's his name? Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. They're coming out with that new movie, so watch out for that. That's going to be cool. They're, they're bodybuilders, right? Mm-hmm. The Rock looks badass. Mark Wahlberg looks the same. Right. He looks fat. He just look <laughs> not dissing you, Mark. You know, you nope. end up watching this. We're not dissing you, man. We, we have mad respect for you. Yeah, that, I don't like Mark Wahlberg though, cause my girlfriend goes crazy for him. So sorry, Mark. He's Punk ass Mark. No, I like I like Mark though. He's badass. But he's he's a short guy. I'm a short guy, but Mark's even shorter than me, so I can call him short. I'm like I'm five nine on a good day. My girlfriend says I'm 5'7", but I know I'm 5'9". We're 5'9". Yeah. We're both 5'9". So. On everyday basis, 5'9". <laughs> yeah. She just likes to tease me, but I'm 5'9". I don't care what she says. She's, she's kind of mean. But anyway, here, here's the here's the goal. See, I, I kind of want to... Because I'm going to be doing this with Brian, but I've, uh, I'm really, I, really, I really want to focus on Brian. The main thing is I want, I want y'all to see a huge difference in Brian. So that's really the goal. So I want to put... Lean body mass on them, and uh, dropping body fat at the same time. So, I want to see a big difference in Brian. Oh, and if anyone's interested, we're, see we're out here in West Texas. If anybody is interested in, uh, you know, becoming a client or whatever you want to call it, I don't like to put different. Uh, what do you call it? Specific. What the hell am I look? What word am I thinking of? Specific I don't know. terms. I, can't finish your sentence. I don't know. If you're interested, uh, feel free to message me and I'll, I'll help you out. Obviously, I can't uh, work out with everybody. You know, I would love to do that full time, but right now I can't. But I can help you out with like dieting and training. So if you're a customer of mine, if you've ever bought anything from our website or if you've ever even, uh, or yeah, if you ever bought anything, I'm not giving this shit out free, but if you've bought anything from me, then feel free to message me because I know a lot of guys. Uh, you know, they'll order our products and then three weeks in, they're like, hey, uh, you know, what should I eat? How should I train? But you, you should really have that stuff figured out beforehand. You know, that way you get the most out of your whole cycle. So uh, if you are one of those people or if you have bought something from us and you're uh, trying to think of how to, when to start, what to eat, how to train, let me know and I will help you out. No problem, no charge. Just, you know, just text me or email me or Facebook me, whatever, doesn't matter. Or tweet him. Now don't don't tweet me. I never get on Twitter. <laughs> I have I have one follower on Twitter. Okay, and that I I know her. It's my future sister-in-law. But I never get on Twitter. I I really haven't campaigned to get uh more Twitter Twitterers or tweeters. Best way. 
Xbox. He's always on Xbox. Yeah, oh, if anybody plays, uh, if you play Halo, if you play Gears of War, we're a bunch of nerds. We love to lift weights, but uh, aside from, you know, doing this, we I play a lot of games. Uh, if I'm not working out or with the girlfriend or at working, I'm at home playing Halo. That's what I love to do. Basketball now and then, but uh, I'm a big nerd, so... Hit us up. I'll put our gamer tags in the uh, in the description. That way you can follow along, and I will bust your ass on Halo. So don't don't even try. Gears of War. I'm okay. Brian's good at he's decent at both. Brian will bust your ass on Bejeweled though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One million. No, I think that's it though. Uh, anything else you want to add? No, I mean, like I said, I just dedicate this to The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. And Vin Diesel. <laughs> that, that gay fag, Vin Diesel. Hey, man. Hey, he's not gay. His brother's gay. Get it right. Yeah, well, anyway, this is dragging out, so we'll leave y'all with that. Uh, main thing to take away from this, just, I get very upset because a lot of, I can't stand when people think that it's, there's so much, I could do a whole rant. I'll do a quick rant about this, okay, because pro-hormones and steroids, you know, Every year they ban new products and then people, uh, you know, they come out with new ones and there's always, they're always finding loopholes, which whether you want to use them or not is up to you. But my point about it is it's not so much about the products. It's about the freedoms that you're letting your government take away from you. See, we're allowed to buy tobacco, which is a huge killer. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm not looking at you like that. We're, we're, you know, people sell tobacco all the time, right? Tobacco is widely available. You got you turn 18 and you're allowed to buy it legally. And so many other kids smoke, you know, way before that, obviously. And that's a huge killer. That's the number one killer. Uh, well, as far as what's available, like a product, you know, tobacco and then alcohol. Those are those kill way more people. I I challenge you to find a real case where steroids were the uh, biggest cause of death. A lot of people think. Uh, you know, they hear it in the media, so they, they associate steroids with, uh, you know, heart bad heart health and cholesterol and liver damage and uh, roid rage and people. I guarantee you those people that had roid rage or whatever, they were fucked up before they ever even touched a steroid. So, it's true. And it's not so much about steroids. I'm just saying do your research. Don't be ignorant, okay? So that, that was my main point. This There is no shortcut in this world of bodybuilding. If you call yourself a bodybuilder, then you know that. Uh, if you're new to it, then you will learn that. So, anyway, we only deal with the legal stuff, obviously. We don't, we're not peddlers of illegal products. I just, I, uh, I don't understand why, uh, you know, we've lost a lot of good products because the government banned them, a.k.a., uh, or not a.k.a., but, f uh, for example, Superdraw. That was an awesome, awesome product that we lost. It is now banned. I'm sure most of you know what that is. Anyway, this is about Brian. We're going to get him big. Get him swole. Stay tuned. This is a quick tip from Brian. Yo, 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 yo. Hygiene is the most important thing to <laughs> Wash your ass. Yeah. And them dick. If you have one. <laughs> Coming soon, we, uh, we got that t shirt. Wash your ass. That's what it's going to say. Yeah. I'm the lead designer, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. If y'all if y'all have any. Uh... Ah, shit. <laughs> iPhones are tough. Okay, uh, we're gonna be coming out with shirts soon, but we wanna. We're I actually like that one. Wash your ass. That's a good one. May if that, I hope that's not taken because that's pretty good. We can put ace. Wash it. Yeah, wash your ass is funny. I like that with like a little ass underneath. You yeah. See that spit? Anyway. <laughs>